So, right, Amir, what were you saying a second ago? Doing in the squat? Doing something in the squat with your fingers? No, like like that. Doing doing your programming stuff. And Yeah, reading for chat. Yeah, being a troll. It's been... So, yeah, it's been... I don't know, it's just like been ages. Because I've been working on this long time, so now it's all happening, like... Yeah, like by myself, working by myself, you know, with, with no money. So I was doing the skipping, and, you know, just whatever. And uh, yeah, also like everybody against me, like a lot of people in the Bitcoin community is like, oh, that's just a fringe crazy guy, you know. Yeah, <laughs> and, but then fringe. It took, and, and all the all the big guys were like well respected. Were like going, like, oh, me is a bad guy, da da da. But then, like now, it comes out that oh, they're corrupt and all these different scandals, and so people, and also people, it's like the things I've been saying is coming out. And people's like, oh yeah, he's, and people are noticing my work and it's picking up. So that's wicked. And it's been like since, since you know, early 2011. Yeah. 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 Well, it's, it's 2014, so it's been nearly four years now since I've been working on this. Four years. And and, th- and it's not the the dark quality, it's just the main, but behind that is all the all the work, yeah. Yeah, we're now, like, at Casa de la Montaña it's really good because in Barcelona. I'm, like, lucky to, to know Pablo, you know. Actually, I also I wouldn't be where I am, like, mentally or even in... The, in London, or even maybe working on this, the things I am working on, if it isn't for Pablo, like that you meet him when you're a young age, and it's like you're already going in that way, yeah. but then it gives you more security. So he's, he's been guidance and inspiration for you to yeah. help you along. It's yeah, really don't cool. Show him this. Nah, we'll keep this <laughs> other way of Pablo. Because <laughs> he's older than me as well, so yeah. But yeah, this this time last year we were, we were living in the, in a squat like in central London, and like me was inviting TV crews round and and sort of getting quite busy. Pablo come to stay with us, and he, oh, it's wicked. When so Pablo like, said he was kind of stay, I told everyone I was like, oh, Pablo's kind. I was like, said, and I, I said I said to like me, like, oh, you got to talk to this guy. He's the greatest guy ever. Da, da, da. But then he was said, but he doesn't talk too much. So really, if you don't know him, like, yeah, it's hard, hard it's, it's actually really cool because when when in the temple, which is Lambeth, like Pablo done a, a really good presentation on the CIC and where he lived at, at Calafo, um, which is like a as what how, how was it described as an eco industrial? Well, yeah, but the the but what would well you the say website. It's like different um, projects. Doing different things. Yeah, like like it's it's a, it's a community, yeah. um, and they're they're doing quite well. I've, I'm now really glad to have actually been to see it as well, and as and well. to witness what's going on and and this early days with the place. So it's it's going to see that be cool to see it progress over the next yeah, yeah. few years and grow. Years, yeah. yeah, this and they make this a nice place. Yeah, imagine we're 20 years in one place and we have like tons of space to expand yes. like our own buildings we, whatever you you want like a sauna a gym you know cinema yeah the cinema, the gym right there all, all, the, all for yourself you know well, for you, you and your friends and anybody you want to bring over just tell them to Hack come love. over you know it's not a problem open space I like the squats it's like that that's what I like about London you know it's just very it's very free you get like, like you get like on the Hobo Hilton. You had the, the bottom floor with the party people, and the top floor with the calm people. So like, if I want to be in party mode, just go and like yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if I want to chill, I just go to the top. I like that. And, think, uh, think what he's saying is live and let live. Yeah, exactly. Live and let live. Yeah, that's party. what. I, that's what I want to do. Live and let live. It takes tolerance, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, like, I was even thinking, yeah, to make a diagram to put on the wiki about the open source city, and like two sides for the diagram, and one says the different governance models, and like I draw a square for the land, yeah, and then I draw like 
a circle with different sh- like pieces of a pie, and then that like governs all of the land here. Or another one is like with the land, but like split into sections, and then each pass, and then just like with yeah. each of the pies. See, I, I don't think we should we should have our pie like that. Like in a in a world where everything's been redistributed into common use, like we share the land and there's no fences, there's no barriers, there's no yours yeah, and mine. But, this but is ours. Day, yeah, we're responsible for that room because we're in that room. Yeah, you've got to re- be high. responsible for your area, but you you don't have to claim that it's yours or claim that it's anybody if we're else's. Using our, it is ours. But you know, that's yeah, but the way it works. While, while that's your responsibility to keep that area working and keep that area clean, um, like, ev- everybody else, squat, yeah? everybody else in the squat, like there's quite a few people pop in with laptops, use the area as well. You know, like been instance, been yeah, yeah, it's open, no problems. You want to make open spaces, yeah? Open like, source, open spaces. Yeah, but you know, like, the, 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 let's say the squat, yeah? It's got loads of rooms, and I have my room, like, somewhat, like... You, you, still, have your, room, you yeah? still have your personal space. Yeah, but that's what but, I mean, like, the land is... The people who make the decisions about the things happens local from the people there. So if I'm in my room, I make the decisions about it rather than the decisions all being collectively made. Like, it's not about... Yeah. Own, you know, I don't know how... To, I wouldn't say it's like, oh, this is ours. Like, if we if we leave that room, people can use it, you know? That's the way it should work, yeah. I think. Like, like, live and let live. The, it's, it's kind of the squat mentality. If there's an empty space, use it. Like, it's that's freedom. And then hopefully too many people won't jump on you for using it and wasting it. Can still hear that samba band. What I like about London as well is like, even if the people is against you, they can still say nothing. Well, I think people they know that it's like you can't really live on claims and nothing that's not yours. Yeah, but all, all property is theft. But we've just got a load of bureaucratic idiots that have been Personal been. Property, private property. You know. That's how you guys say property is theft is the name of the book. Yeah. By by the guy who you know before there was like left or right anarchism, there was like just anarchism and it's like the the guy who made it is called Proud Hon. And that's the guy that Cody's a real big fan of, like reads all his books and stuff like and he said he wrote the book Property is Theft and he says he says like in the book that per, the personal property, which is the things like your toothbrush or the things that like you use or is yours is yours, you know. But the private property, which is the way that you you like live through that, you know, like for instance, like if you go to a factory and a work, yeah, you're using that machinery to produce stuff, but it, it shouldn't be owned by somebody else because if it's owned by somebody else, you're working on that that thing that's owned by someone else, like you're working for them, you know. It's it says like property is theft. It's like stealing. From you, because it's like, yeah. No, oh, all, all property's been stolen at some point, isn't it? Like well, all, all of the world's attributes, like you know, robbed from one place or another, moved across know. the world and if claimed. A massive bit of clay, yeah? and anybody can take that clay and I make a nice, like, little sculpture out of the clay. You know, it's not everybody's. It's like. It's yeah, but, of my but, work. but everybody can can share it and look at its beauty and appreciate it. They don't have to use it for to use it as a doorstop or something somewhere uh, else. <laughs>